So, there is a big fish in there, and uh, I think we got pretty good chances at the end of the day. Seeing as how we're the only ones here, this next weekend's actually the fishing derby. Ah, uh, jokes on you. Not this weekend. But, uh, you know, good pre fish. Who doesn't love getting up for the pre fish? What do you think about that, mister? That's how you go viral, just uh, screw up and do something stupid. Recapping the GoPro right now of how we're doing on the free fish wannabe derby. What do you think? One fish, probably under a pound, not going so good, pretty choppy. Two spots. We're gonna lose. Nah. Show them the fish. Show them the fish. See him? See him. Stealing some smallmouth bass trolling here in the edge of a huge block. Pretty neat overhanging rocks and stuff. And now you can see uh, Terry, the anchor man, trying to reel off the old uh, anchor. He's tried every single way to get this anchor out. Got loose, literally. Lesson He's learned. Tried pulling it out with the boat. Yeah. <laughs> it is not budging. Don't ever use those frickin' triangle style anchors. No, that'll sink her. Cause it'll it'll shoot it down. Yeah, that's how you sink her with your cannonballs. That thing is solid. I say there's a nice sharp Leatherman beside you and a shitty old rope. One thing, try going this way. Didn't we already try this? Looks like spawner. I have no idea. Now I know what Just nothing, eh? Cut our losses. Oh. <laughs> Neutral's the other way. Found something neat on our pre fish. What's something boat? Well, hopefully, the camera picks this up. That's probably the fuel cell there. Down there you can see there's an engine. That was a decent sized boat. It was, yeah, that was big. Oh, there's something sticking out of the water. That looks like metal, actually. All right. So what do you think about that last uh, fish there? Oh, I should be a baseball player. A baseball player? Yeah. So what happened was we had a fish on, I was bringing it to the boat and I went to rip her into the boat and it came right off and Terry caught it with a net. Stuff you only see in TV folks. Pretty slow. It is. It's like one, you get one fish per spot basically right now. Nothing in shallow, nothing under wood. So bloody hot lately, I bet you that's why they're all staying out. We're right now in about 11 feet of water. Oh, just marked two fish near the bottom. Uh, yeah. Seven feet down. What's that, uh, state of the art hummingbird. State of the art. What year did that thing say? 1998, I think it was? Yeah, 93. We don't need it. Yeah, so far we haven't really used the fish finder. We just have it on. I might switch to the green and Big O. That's what's working, Big O. Cotton Cordell's Big O. Thing is awesome.
Oh, there's coffee all in the bottom of the boat. Oh, did it fall? But yeah, because I kicked it over and I went to. Oh, that's all right. It's all right there. Got the cordial. Big pool. There you go. And this is the one I just caught that fish on. Same thing. It's light. Oh. That one I think you just caught was bigger. Oh yeah, he's definitely bigger. Felt bigger. Would you look at oh shit it came off too. It's in my sweater. <laughs> oh. Wow. Dude, what the fuck? I'm telling you, big O's. That's where it's at. I'm doing this, this speed. Oh yeah. You fucking it. Isn't it? That one's decent. I got her now. Oh my god, Adam, that's a dog. Okay. Just oh yeah. Tell me when. You might want to extend that net. No! Yeah! It came off too! <laughs> Dude! Dude! Woo! Dude! That is a nice one. Look Dude. at the color on that. Those are all yours. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, Fill we in the boat. Add more water. Okay. The big O by Cotton Cordell is in the top five bass leaders this year. Oh, fuck, I had one. We've obviously just run upon a school, though. Oh. oh. Yo! You got it! You got Oh! I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Ready. Oh, man. That's a dog. Yeah! Dog. Bring up. Okay. Oh, fuck. I have to pick up. Got up. Ready? One, two, three. It's going up. No, it's under. Oh, it's in. Yeah! <sighs> Woo! Adam Brown, Adam fucking Brown. Get your GoPro on, dude. It is on. Yes. Is the red light not flashing? Let's see. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> dude, look at this thing. We are doing decent. Oh, self unloader. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, it's a dink. Whoa, we got some action. Doesn't matter. It's, a, just, it's coming in. Oh, it's oh, in the no, oh. your pants. <laughs> <laughs> It has impaled me. Is this on camera? This is on camera. see someone setting sketchy night lines. Really? Oh, yeah, this little stick. All wrapped up with twigs. I see that a lot at the vermilion. Jesse and I pulled them all up though and worked them off. Oh, where's he going? Oh god. He is gone. Okay, I gotta get serious about driving. Let me just get under you. You gotta lift your legs. Okay, I'm coming. Kill her? Okay, I can't. I got low. That's all you get. Drop her down. Drop her down. You're good. Wow, we did it. I was like, black back no. Yeah. Snap! Well, on to the next one. Can we get that on camera? Actually, it's still on camera. <laughs> There you go. Ow! <laughs> Dude, I just sat on that. Oh. You can edit this stuff out of. Okay. We interrupt this fishing show to bring you a very important public service announcement on the harmful UV rays that you may experience while fishing. You may not be able to tell this, but I'm actually a full-out ginger. So all this getup is required. You should constantly be lathering yourself in sunscreen. I like Hawaiian Tropic. It smells a lot better than Copper Tone. The Copper Tone part. You should get yourself a face mask so you look like a fish ninja. And always wear fancy sunglasses so you can see the bottom of the lake. And a random ass hat. 
Safety first, people. Fishing's important. Safety's almost as important. And Starlight. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, now, we now bring you Moonscreen. Yeah. <laughs>